मटन चॉप मसाला माय नेम इज शेफर पाल एंड यू वाचिंग मी कुक मटन चॉप मसाला इंटरेस्टिंग इज इट द रेसिपी इट सेल्फ इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लिटिल लेंदी not so lengthy i would say but cooking yes because you are cooking mutton definitely would be lengthy and you're not using a pressure cooker remember if you're cooking mutton chop masala please don't use a pressure cooker because when you sear the mutton saute the mutton along with all the spices it needs to get cooked slowly there's no addition of water in this that's the most important thing vessel up here on the gas range oil at least 3 tablespoons of oil when you cook mutton the oil that you require has to be more 1 teaspoon of black pepper corns small cardamom 5 6 of the same cloves at least 4 of them and a small piece of cinnamon let this sit in here i've got some sliced onion okay now the sliced onion is at least if you're using say around 500 grams of lamb chops cleaned one bone single bone as i have here single bone lamb chops cleaned about 500 grams of them you need three onion sliced now as this heats up let me take a small piece of ginger and cut julienes of the same so if at at home if you were to measure this up probably half a inch of ginger cut slices and then julienes there you go green chilies three of them slit them up keep this aside okay don't need them at this point of time after some time as you smell the fragrance you get this fragrance of the spices add the onions saute the onions until they are translucent now this would take about 3 to 4 minutes okay and then I'm going to add the lamb chops. I'm not going to brown them because you need to cook the lamb chops along with this. Very important. So cook the onions until it translucent. As the onions get sautéed, what's important is this point of time. You see, they turn a little pink and translucent. You know, that's when the sweetness, you know, has been there. It's become. It's not any more sharp. It's little sweet. So you need to add lamb chops to this. Now, whenever you cook mutton, the thumb rule says that whatever quantity of mutton you take, you must take equal quantities of onion. Now, that's a simple tip, which I have learned from you know old cooks who've been masters of Indian food. They've taught me this that okay, you know, if you're cooking mutton, equal quantities of onion and lamb chops or mutton, whatever you're cooking. So that is the thumb rule here. Now, sear this on high flame. and to this i'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste okay next is salt to taste the ginger and the green chilies into this there you go now cook this keep stirring keep cooking this you can cover this also don't add water keep cooking and keep stirring this and this approximately for 20 minutes this is what you have to do so stirring and cooking stirring and cooking so that it doesn't stick no water added remember this there's no water to be added no other things to be added so i'll keep cooking keep stirring in between for 20 minutes at least now after about 20 minutes i have been stirring now you see why i didn't brown the onions because i'm not adding water at all and you see what's happened is the onions are also nicely browned the mutton has been nicely sheared and almost about half cooked at this point of time i'm going to add the dry spices red chili powder little bit of turmeric powder garam masala half teaspoon now and half teaspoon later okay that's what i am going to do so dry spices all of them wow look at this and now add the tomatoes about two tomatoes puree is what i've added super the mutton is only going to get cooked 
after about 35 minutes of cooking. So what you need to do is cover this and keep stirring in between again. If at all at home you feel that no, while I'm cooking the mutton is sticking to the pan, you can keep adding little water. I would avoid it. I would rather simmer it, you know, put the flame to the lower side and keep cooking slowly. Will take a little longer time, maybe around 40 minutes total to cook a good mutton. But that's what the taste will be. That's when you will enjoy this mutton chop masala. Beautiful, dry, okay? So keep cooking this for another 10-15 minutes. Dry, if at all I need water, I'll keep adding little at a time, not too much, just to protect the mutton not from sticking to the pan, okay? That's what you need to do. Now after about 10 minutes, again, what I need to do is look at this. Beautiful. I did add little bit of water, not too much. Finally, I need to add some yogurt. There goes the yogurt. Now this is just to tone down the chilies. That's what I'm going to do. Just to tone down the chilies, juice of half a lime. Finally, the garam masala, half teaspoon into this. Take two sprigs of mint, remove the leaves and add to this. Keep stirring, keep cooking for about three to four minutes. And as it becomes dry, the yogurt also completely dries up. Mutton is absolutely ready. Chops are just divine. All you need to do is remove all the chops in a pan. Remove all the chops in a serving dish that you want to serve the chops in. Now what you see here is dry masala chops. You need to have some patience while cooking this. Little water, keep stirring, keep stirring. If you can avoid water, the best thing, because then the taste of mutton will be the best. But in case you think, no, it's sticking, keep adding little water. And cook until the mutton is nice and soft and the masala is absolutely dry. And serve it just like this. Get over in a jiffy, I'm telling you, the moment you serve, everybody's going to jump onto this.